<clears throat> You've been thunderstruck. Sorry, I've been having ACD on my mind um, this whole weekend. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for joining me, Citizen Crane. Joe FB, let's get some help. Chem Goddess, thanks for joining me. This is Abong Eka, Upward Action. Thank you for be coming back uh, to my scope. Dominique Broadway. There's a lot of new people. I was also low. She's not, she's not new. Uh, Fabian Reed. Kevin Madison. That's my dude, Kevin Madison. Hey, Kem. Kevin Madison's my dude. Hey, how you doing today? Uh, you got it. Love your... Oh, thanks so much, Citizen, citizen uh, Crane. My man, Kevin Madison's my dude. You should follow him. He has amazing sculpts. They're deep. When you listen to Kevin Madison talk, it's you, you're just kind of like your brain is melting, I'm telling you. Uh, how, how's it going, Terrence? I, I love your stuff, man. I, I try to get on your scopes when I can. Um, thanks so much for sharing, Candace. Uh, uh, Candace Vaney. Yeah, no, Kevin Madison's a dude. I, I joke around a lot in other scopes and call him my digital mentor, but he is my money mentor, millionaire mentor, mentor all the way around. So, hey, Vita Hyatt. And uh, that actually that actually falls in line with what I want to talk talk today about. Um, no, no problem, no problem, um, Terrence. I love your stuff, man. You you have you have good things, and you know it's like a lot of people on Periscope. We're all trying to you know get people and engage. So um, before I start, I want to say Happy Monday. Uh, the first thing I want to also also want to mention is um, do me a favor and and invite people. Um, and some of you have. Uh, that's the first thing I ask people. Second thing I ask uh, always is hearts. Um, hook, hook me up with that. Where do I get a signed copy of your book? Vita, that's a great question. Hala, Jennifer and Andrea. Uh, hey, Vita, go to startmeupbook.com. Startmeupbook.com. So I changed it, the, the URL. That's, that's, that's my website. Just go there. He's my many mentor. Love is wisdom indeed. Yeah, uh, thanks so much, Terrence, man. Go to uh, um, startmeupbook.com. And you just, yeah, there it is. Thank you so much. Thanks for uh, taking a look in the link. Um, before I start, some of you guys are new here, so let me tell you who I am. Kevin Madison's the man. Um, my name is Abong Eka. I'm a certified public accountant, CPA here in the U.S. I'm also the author of the best-selling business book, Start Me Up, The No Business Plan, Business Plan, which helps, which basically um, helps you with your idea to go from your mind to the marketplace uh, by, by focusing on four major areas. Also, I'm also the, the prince of pricing, where I help small businesses, right, set their pricing, and eventually raise their pricing so they can maximize their profits. And that's the whole point of it. A lot of small businesses fail because they don't have the right pricing. And yes, I am a TEDx speaker as well. Thanks so much, Kevin, for, for, for the shout out there. Um, I'm a motivational speaker, TEDx speaker, small business strategist. And I do coaching in that, in that realm as well. Um, is there an Audible? No Audible right now. Uh, this is because this is directly through a publisher. So um, I, it took me years to get a, a book deal from a publisher based right out uh, by New York, uh, New York City. And uh, from there, they control basically everything. So they pay me in advance. I wrote the book. And then they could be, pretty much control the way the book operates. There's a Kindle version. There's a Nook version. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Barnes & Nobles. You can go to startmeupbook.com. Get it from me directly. If you get it from me, I will sign it for you. I will autograph it for you directly and send it out. And I also put a make sure I put a note in there as well uh, to you. It's also on Kindle, so if you read Kindle, you can pick it up on uh, Kindle as well. Kindle, Nook, um, e, like the ebook thingy, or you know the e-readers, as well as a physical copy. But if you buy from me directly, I can't sign a Kindle. Um, I will sign it. I'll autograph it to you, and I'll also leave a, a personal note on the inside as well. So. Um, my thing for the most part is a lot of you guys know I talk about pricing, but I also talk about mindset and the importance of mindset. Now you're welcome, Terrence. Um, I talk about mindset. And so today I want to share with you guys some ideas about opinion versus advice, right? And the reason why I came up with this because I was on Facebook uh, recently and I was looking at uh, one of those, one of the Facebook groups. What's your money mentor's name again? His name is Kevin Madison. He's in, he's on the scope. You can find him in the list. It's Kevin Madison, at Kevin Madison. Um, he has a lot of deep scopes. He's, he's, uh, he's doing all, he's doing really well. Uh, thank you so much, Terrence. Um, and so for the most part, uh, I was, I was in a Facebook group, um, earlier, t uh, earlier today. And a lot of times people, it, it's called, uh, well, um, well, it's called freedom hackers. And a lot of times people have questions. They ask a lot of questions, um, about their business, what they should do, how you should start all these questions. And, and, and some of the some of the more polarizing questions, people will literally respond. It'll be like maybe 30 or 40 or 50 people with, with their opinions, all responses. Some of them are based on what they've done, what they haven't done, what they think, what they've heard, all this stuff. 
And so if you're a person that asked, asked that particular question in the forum, you have to go through 50 different responses, a lot of which you don't know if they're legit, you don't know where they're coming from and everything else. So I want to I want to give you guys a distinction between opinions and advice, okay? Also, if you guys here, you guys are all small business owners, a lot of you guys are sm small business owners, some of you guys are maybe in your career, maybe you're doing something that's outside of your purpose. Hey, Christian Connor, what's going on, man? Um, yeah, Christian, Christian's another great guy. I did an interview with Christian. Go follow, go to check out his podcast. I think it's healthypodcast.co. Um, he's another guy you should follow and stay in touch with. He, he, he interviews entrepreneurs. He's really amazing. So, um, so, so basically going back to what I was saying, a lot of people ask a lot of, uh, ask about advice or ask for advice a lot. And a lot of times you'll get unsolicited advice. Uh, if you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're if you have your employee, whatever you're doing in, in the world in your life, you'll meet people who will give you unsolicited advice. And so what I do is when I get unsolicited advice, I treat a lot of that as opinions because everybody has ideas. Everybody's got dreams. Everybody has ideas. Everybody thinks things should be done a certain way. I want to share with you how I differentiate between when I get some information from somebody, how I how I discern it to be opinions and how I treat it as advice, unsolicited or solicited. A lot of times, obviously, I'll put more weight on solicited advice or solicited information. But for the most part, if somebody comes gives me unsolicited advice, this is how I'll, uh, this is what I'll look at, how I'll treat it. So opinions, everybody has them. Okay, it's it's what they believe, what they've seen. It's based on their belief structure. It's based on their experience. In some cases, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's based on something they just came up with in their heads, right? Sometimes people, yeah, they do, they impose their opinions on us. And they say, I think you should do this. I think you should do that. Why don't you do this? This, da, da, da. And so what I do, the first thing I do is I, I ask myself a question and I ask them, what is your reference experience? So why do you think this is, this is going to work? So if you're telling me to do a particular um, uh, activity for my business, I ask you, why do you think this should work? And more importantly, what matters more than anything else is that you have to be, they have to be able to explain to you where that came from. I used to be in that girl up because some people in there were getting really rude. Yeah, that, that happens too as well. Um, and you know your own brain, so how you deal with stuff, you know, you it, it's basically how, if that works for you, then that's how you deal with stuff. Um, a lot of times, it's a limiting self-belief that uh, has them insecure. That's true as well. Um, that is annoying. And so people will give you advice. And a lot of it, yes, part of it, as Christian said, is their limiting belief. A lot of times, it's their fear, which actually is, is part and parcel of limiting belief. They actually believe that whatever you're trying to accomplish is not going to work. And so they'll tell you that in advance. But again, you got to you gotta look at it this way. A lot of people, when they're talking to you, when they're exchanging information and, 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 and emotions with you, is because you are, you are a mirror to them. One of two things is happening. The first is, if you tell them something you're trying to accomplish as a bigger goal than where you currently are with this person, they'll do one of two things. The first thing is, they're looking at you and they're saying, why am I not doing the same thing? This person's no different than me. And what happens is it puts them in a place of, of, of anger. They're angry at themselves for not taking action towards what they're supposed to be accomplishing, right? And the other thing, too, is the second part, which uh, Christian alluded to earlier, is fear. The fear part of it. They're looking at you saying, I don't want you to, I don't want you to fail. I don't want this bad thing to happen to you. Because if that were me, I would feel the same way. And so they put their ideas and, and their opinions and their thoughts on you to, to try and guide you out of that so you can go to do something that's safe. But, if, but, but the whole point of trying to be an entrepreneur is not about safety. It's about being in control of your, your economic environment and bringing value to the marketplace and people in your life. So the first question I ask people all the time is, what is your reference experience? And when somebody gives me some an advice, I'll, that's how I'll differentiate between an opinion and advice. The first, the first point is, where is this coming from? Right? Like, what experience do you have in this particular area or subject that you're telling me this? Um... And, and that is the first thing that actually makes me realize, okay, it's an opinion. It goes to the opinion box. I don't really care. Oh, it's, it's, um, it's advice. Oh, okay, this person's done this before. I put it in that box. Um, a lot of you people coming in and out of the scope, I want to just remind you, if you're new coming in here, my name is Abong Eka. I'm a CPA. I'm also the author of the best-selling business book, Start Me Up, The No Business Plan, Business Plan. Do me a favor. If you want a signed copy from me, you can go to startmeupbook.com. Um, hey, honey, gets money. Um, I saw you on the other scope of justice. 
Um, if you want a signed copy from me, I'll send it to you. I'll, I'll, I'll autograph it and also put a personal note and personalize it. I'll send it to you. You go to startmeupbook.com for a copy of that. Thank you so much, Vita. Or you can also go, uh, if you want to get it traditionally, you can go to you can go into Barnes & Nobles. I think it's in there, a lot, of, a lot of the stores. You can get it online. You can get it on Amazon. You get Kindle. You can get it by the Nook as well, okay? So basically today we're talking about how do you differentiate differentiate between opinions and advice. So the first thing I said earlier is when somebody gives you a, a thought about your business, about your life, about what you're doing, you got to ask yourself, where is this coming from? What experience do they have that are telling you this? So if I want to start an online business, I'm not going to ask Donald Trump for advice. Donald Trump is known for building hotels and big buildings. If I want to big, big if I want to build a big building, I'll ask Donald Trump. If I want to start an online business, I'm not going to ask Donald Trump. That makes sense? Do not get caught up in a cognitive bias of thinking because someone's successful in one area, they're going to be successful in all areas. A lot of times we have to be we have to be experts in our space in our field, right? You cannot be an expert in a whole bunch of things. There's a cognitive bias that we fall into. So you think of it this way. When you talk to a doctor, sometimes you meet doctors and they're trying to give you stock advice. You, you meet, you meet a, a lawyer and he's trying to give you advice about where you put your money in the market or what you should do about your car. Are you, are you an expert in that space? Do you have reference experience in that space? If the answer is no, it's an opinion, right? Advice usually is something you seek or it's from someone you respect and someone you know who's already in that space, in that field. If, 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 if I'm trying to do an online business, I'm trying to do something with Periscope, I'm going to talk to people who are doing Periscope, who are actually executing the things that they're sharing with me, right? If I'm going to talk about you know helping people with pricing and helping people with their business, that's stuff that I've been doing for years. And so you want to make sure that when you're getting feedback or, or ideas from people, you want to make sure you evaluate it relatively quickly. Because when you get too much and you're, not, you're uncertain, you won't take any action. It's easier to be comfortable. Your brain will say to you, why are you wasting your time listening, reading 50 comments in, in this book? Or uh, sorry, 50 comments on this, in this webpage. Hey, Adrena Monet, you don't do that. Problem is people mistake their opinion for Exactly, exactly, Dylan Young. Um, that's basically what ends up happening a lot of times. You mistake people's opinions for advice, uh, not based on anything. And so don't, you know, you don't, have to, you don't have to say anything to them. If someone's giving you advice, it's unsolicited, just basically say, hey, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Hey, do me a favor. What, um, you know, have you, has, have you had experience doing this? No? Okay, that's cool. You know, I really appreciate you telling me what's going on. Okay, cool. And after that, you just throw it in the trash, right? What's the point? If someone's never gone to, never, someone's never gone to Europe, why are you going to ask them what to do when you're in Europe? They can't help you, Right? So it's easier to it's better to learn from people who've done who've blazed trails who've done things. You can you, you can get it in books, you can get it in person, you can get it through mentors. Hey, what's going on, Lisa? 3D lashes, 3D lashes. Um, follow her, she's amazing. I caught your scope earlier today, so um, um, you know, thanks for having me, thanks for being here, thanks for sharing. The second thing is uh, the second point I want to add I want to add to as to how to differentiate between opinions and advice is you want to ask uh, do you yeah, do your due diligence and part of this we'll, we'll go into the second one which is you got to ask yourself and ask them the reason why they're giving you this info. So for me, um, yes, exactly. And so for me, great point, Christian. And so for me, what I do is when somebody gives me unsolicited advice, the first thing I ask myself is the reference experience. Where are you coming from from this? Do you have the experience? The second thing is, where is this coming from? Is it coming from a place of fear? Are the words you're telling me sound like it's fear? Tara Tate the Great. Thanks for being here. You're awesome. Right? The reason I ask myself is, where's the info coming from? Is it coming from a, a place of fear? Is it coming from a place of you're trying to save me, you're trying to help me? Or, or maybe you're upset that I'm actually taking a, taking a chance to go somewhere and chase my dream and chase my goals. That's the thing you got to realize and look at it. And if I see that, if I feel, and from, from a quick evaluation, that it's not really working out that way, then I just put it in the trash as well. Hey, thank you, thank you for being here, Lo. You know, good luck with studying. Why is it okay for them to give you advice if you haven't asked for it? Exactly. So, perfect example I, I had a great conversation with Christian last week. See, this is what he, this is the kind of things that he does. And he was giving me some advice about different systems I could use for my business, for my upcoming course, the different things. And so for him, for him, he, this is something that he was, he's, he's been in it deep and I knew it from what he was saying. And so I took, I'm taking his advice to heart, right? That's the difference. If someone's like, Hey, you know, I want to do this and this. What do you think? If they're asking you for advice, Right. Then, then obviously, if, 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 someone's, if you're asking somebody for advice, obviously it's advice and you find value to begin with. You're not going to ask somebody just to tell you something for the sake of telling you, right? So uh, that's, a, that's the second one. Um, I'm going to give you the third one. I'm going to reintroduce myself for the new people who've jumped into the scope again. The last one is usefulness, right? 
How useful is the advice that someone's giving you? Thank you so much, Louis Bello. I really appreciate that, man. I really appreciate that. Um, again, I asked my the usefulness is the last one. Usefulness. Why how useful, how useful is the information that I'm receiving from someone who's giving me unsolicited advice, anyways? I get so many emails from people giving me advice. I got so many emails from people telling me I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't do that. And then I try to I look a little bit further into what they're doing, and they're not doing anything close to what I'm trying to accomplish. So why do their why does their opinion even matter? But I see, but for me, this is a conversation I'm having internally. But I see so many people, I see so many other people who don't. Your book is on my list of yes, get the book, 3D Lashes, get the book, Elisa. And 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 so I, I look at myself and I look at what they're saying, and I say, I see so many people who can easily fall into um, uncertainty because somebody's giving them unsolicited advice and they don't have the conviction in what they're trying to accomplish already. That makes sense? Okay. So again, I want to remind you guys who I am. Thank you for the new people who are coming in here. My name is Abong Eka. I'm a certified public accountant, CPA. I'm also a speaker, author, TEDx speaker as well. You can Google my TEDx or YouTube my TEDx uh, talk on controlling your own economy. I'm also the author of the best-selling business book, Start Me Up, the No Business Plan, Business Plan, which, is, which was an Amazon bestseller. And it's a, it's a great way to start your business or if you're already in business, how to set your pricing and grow it. And I'm also the prince of pricing. Right, thank you so much, Louis. I'm the prince of pricing. So what I mean by the prince of pricing is I help small businesses online and even offline to set their prices and then raise them so they can maximize their profits. Um, oh, thank you so much, Louis. You're awesome. You and Christian, you guys are amazing. Thanks for thanks for being here. So I'm gonna go through the I'm gonna run through the three things real quickly, and then uh, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll let you guys keep going on with your evening. I may do another scope tonight. I thought about doing a blab, but I don't have time, so um, I'll probably do a blab tomorrow or some other day. But Real quick, the whole the whole point of the scope today was uh, was to remind was to give you guys some ideas. The difference between opinions and advice, right? Everybody has opinions. You got to understand it. You got to get this. You really got to get this. Everybody has opinions. You're gonna hit it. You're gonna see. It doesn't matter when you're on it. When you're when you're doing well, it doesn't matter when you're successful. It doesn't matter when you're when you're when you're killing it in whatever field you're in. The reason why you need to know this now. Is because when you're discouraged, when you wake up in the morning and it's not happening the way you see it, when you wake up in the morning and, and your client has fired you, when you wake up in the morning and you lost your job, when you wake up in the morning and you're trying to start something new and nobody and nobody believes in you, oh, uh, but they keep freezing on me, ah, uh, sorry so much, upper action, and you wake up in the morning and you're, and you're struggling with all this stuff and you're worried about what's going on, right? This is when it matters. This is when it matters to know the difference between advice and opinion. If you're okay being safe, it's difficult to comprehend someone going after your goals. Exactly, exactly. Um, I, I agree with that too, completely, Deleon, as well, Kem Goddess. Hey, and Deleon is an example. I'm sure, Deleon, that people are telling you that what you're trying to do is not going to work. I'm sure people are telling you that you can't sketch. Why are you sketching sneakers for? It doesn't matter. Do this. Do, go get, get a job instead. That's an opinion, right? The person who's giving you an opinion about your goals and your dreams, they quit, Right? The person, I completely, I, I, I know it. I can feel it. I've been through, I've been there. Everything I'm telling you is something I've been through. Hey, what's going on, Tammy? And so I've been there, right? I've been through that. I've heard the exact same thing. People will tell you over and over again. They will tell you no. They will tell you your ideas suck. They will tell you your dreams are garbage. They will tell you, tell you, why don't you just be regular? Why don't you be realistic, right? And as Will Smith says, realism and being realistic is the fastest path to mediocrity. What is the point of being realistic, Right? Was it realistic for someone to think that you could create a, a smartphone? Was it realistic for someone to think that you can create a tablet, right? That you can touch screen? Was it realistic that we can get on a plane and fly across the ocean and be, and get there like in, within hours? When when years before that it used to take, you know, like weeks and months? So realism doesn't matter in the grand scheme of achieving your your dreams and your goals, right? When you're going after what you deserve, what you think you desire, the universe will get out of your way. Right, the universe will understand exactly what you're trying to accomplish. So I want to I, I want to impart on you the importance of understanding the difference between opinions and advice. Right? If you don't know the difference, you will get derailed. If you don't know the difference between your opi opinions you're given and the advice, you will get derailed. You'll get discouraged. You'll quit. You'll count the cost. Right? I don't like the word realistic. Yes, and that's the problem that will happen. I loved your scopes the other day. Skirts. Oh, thank you so much. Um, used to bother me that strangers believe in me. Exactly. But see, the thing is, De Leon, that, that happens a lot with so many people. The family, right, their mindset's different. They know you. So for them, they just, they don't want you, they don't want you, uh, they don't want you to, to get hurt. They don't want you to lose. They don't want you to fail. 
We've, you know, they, it, society as a whole teaches our kids not, they teach our kids not, um, you know, they teach our kids not to, not to, not to be okay with failure. Oh, failure is bad. Oh, you're a dummy. Oh, you're failing in courses. All these different things. Fail, 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 failure is bad. But the reality is it's part of the process, right? It's part of your progress and eventually it's part of your prize. And so you gotta, you got to understand this. i got to share this with you guys. So real, real quick, the last three points. When somebody wants to give you opinion versus advice, the first thing you gotta, you got to get it is the reference experience. Where is this person coming from? Where is this person? Like, have, do they have the experience to be giving me useful advice? If the answer is no, I put that in the trash, right? Second thing, the reason for the info. Why are they giving me the info? Why is this person giving me the information? Like, what is, you know, why are they telling me what they're telling me, especially if it's unsolicited, right? I have mentors in my life that I ask questions, and whenever they tell me, I still evaluate it because, again, we're all different people from different places and different walks of life and everything else, okay? So a lot of times you got to ask yourself, what is the reason for the info? Why are they giving me unsolicited advice? Is it coming from fear? Is it coming from uh, maybe they, they, they saw something that may happen and they want to share? That's what you have to evaluate. The last thing I'll say also, too, is usefulness. You've got to see how useful is the advice. Is the advice useful, right? When someone's giving you some opinion or an, or an advice, if you decided you, you think it's a, an a, advice, how useful is it to what you're doing? So people will tell me things before. You need to change your site. You need to do all this stuff, add all these things. And for me, i got to evaluate how useful is that. If it's not useful to what I'm trying to accomplish short-term and long-term, it doesn't matter if it, if it makes perfect sense, Right? And so those are the three things I wanted to share with you as it relates to that. Why are you giving me unsolicited advice? How useful is your, is your advice? Exactly, Tammy. Um, how useful is that? Um, and uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank, thanks so much, uh, Christian, for being here, man. I really appreciate you being here. Um, those are the, the three things. Where are you come? What experience do they have to give me advice? Second thing is, what's the reason for them giving me the advice or the opinion? And the last is usefulness, right? How useful is the advice? And so that's the thing that matters the most, right? You've got to ask, how useful is the advice? And so those are the three things when somebody's talking to you about opinion, when, you, when, you, when you're given unsolicited advice or unsolicited information, you got to ask yourself, you got to balance the two. Is it opinion? Is it advice? If it's advice, it gets elevated and you can put more time into it, right? And you can, you can think about it a little bit more. You can, you can meditate on it and figure out how this, supposed, how, this, how, this ha- how this plays a role in you achieving your dreams and your goals. So those are the things I want to impart on you. I want to thank you guys for being on the scope today. For some of you guys who, who are coming in here late, I want to remind you, my name is Abong Eka. I'm a CPA, Certified Public Accountant. I'm a speaker. I'm a TEDx speaker. Um, I'm also the author of the best-selling business book, Start Me Up, The No Business Plan, Business Plan. You can go to startmeupbook.com, startmeupbook.com if you want to, you want a signed copy. Some some people on here have already got them. Thank you so much, Conquer Fit. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, I didn't change my carrier. It's still the same. Thank you, DeLeon. Hey, Mike Arlinski. Hey, Kim. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Neely. Um, the, oh, that, that's cool. That's cool. Um, thank you so much, Neely. That 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 makes I really appreciate you saying that. Um, where do we where do we go to get good advice? That's a good question. You got to think about it this way. There's a few a few things. So the first thing I would say is you got to find. Uh, think of it this way. What do you want? Think about what I know. Hey, I, I think there was an update, and then it's been it's been great, Mike. So when it, where do you go to get good advice? You got to find people who are doing things that that resonate with you or that are that are in line with what you're trying to accomplish. Right, whether it's from a motivational perspective, because again, your mindset's not right. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you. If your mindset's not right, you won't you won't do the next thing to get to where you want to go to. So, um, so what's really important is you got to find people who are, who are doing what you want to do, or who have done what you're already doing, and what you're trying to do. Right, and you can do that in a multitude of ways. Go on YouTube and find people who are talking about it. Uh, search people's blog sites. More importantly, if you find somebody online who's doing what you want to do and they got a blog. Contact, read their blog, send them an email. Hey, I got a quick question. I read this article. It was great. I had a question. What do you think about this, this, and this? A lot of times, they will come, they will respond to you because they're just happy that you responded, took the time, and you were you, you made perfect sense of what you're saying. Your mind really shaped your reality. Exactly. I completely, I, I completely agree, Kim. That is exactly how I live my life. Some of you may or may not see that in my scopes, but the reality is the way I see the world, the way, the, like, the way I see the world in my brain is how, is how things come to life. You have to understand something very, a very simple principle where it makes perfect sense. The people who have achieved great things on this planet, they did so because they had the vision first. There's no other way, right? Christopher Columbus sailed across the ocean in a boat, right? And he said, I know there's something else. He was, obviously, he found America by mistake. 
but he knew there was somewhere else. And he saw this island, he saw this landmass, he saw the ability, he saw the new world in his mind first. And then he, then he took the chance. So that's part of doing the work, whatever it is. Like Dillion, he's a, he's a, he's a great shoe, uh, sneaker designer. He's another one, believed it, achieved it, exactly. He's a sneaker designer. He's got to see his ideas in his brain before he can start sketching. He's not going to start sketching some shoes and be like, yeah, this is it. No, he's like, it, there's no stumbling upon your, 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 your dream and your promise. There's no stumbling upon it. You, you, there's no such thing, right? Because even if you find it by mistake, there is no such thing of you stumbling on your dreams and your goals. You already know what they look like to you. You can taste it. You know what it smells like. You know what it looks like, right? And before you explode and blow up, right? You, before you actually get the success that you deserve, you you literally have it in your in your hand without having it. And so that's the thing. No stumbling up. Uh, yeah, exactly. No stumbling up uh, on them at all. You can't. And so you got it. You got to understand. That's what's important. That's that's the whole key about uh, you know about uh, about your, about your dreams and goals. And so you got to see it first. And so so many times, part of part of seeing it uh, is so everything that we have in this earth today. Somebody saw it before it came came to fruition. Even Periscope. Someone said, you know what? I think we should be able to stream from our handheld phones. And then someone went to the lab and built it. Next thing you know, we have a great community. People connecting. People making money on Periscope. People growing. People growing their platforms. So that's the thing I want to share with you guys. It's really, really important. Thank you, Mexican64, for joining. Um, I'm about to get out of your thoughts. Become, thoughts become things, right? And your thoughts become your steps. They become your reality. They become your desire, your dreams. They become where you end up. Be, you will be able to look back and say, oh, I look, I, I, now I remember that day. I remember that day. When I, before I got this book deal, y'all don't, you, don't understand this. When I, this book, it wasn't self-published. It took me about two and a half years to get a book deal. I wrote, I wrote queries. I wrote book proposals. I got over 250 no's. They said no. And like, how about this? No. How about this? No. Good luck to you. That, those are the people who responded. 200 didn't respond at all, right? And the ones who did respond were like, hey, good luck to you. And we're a nice idea, but we're not interested. I had a whole bunch of those. So I want to make, I want to get it clear to you guys. The things that I've accomplished is from complete, like, seeing what, I saw what this looked like. I didn't know what, I didn't know what the cover looked like, but I saw the book happen. Right, and some of you guys saw a previous scope where I actually I was in New York City. I went to Barnes and Nobles and went into Barnes and Nobles and saw my book on the shelf and bought it. Right, I literally started crying when I saw that, mainly because I saw myself doing those things. This only happened like two months ago. I saw myself doing it three years ago. It only it took me three years to get here. So love the nose. They're once yeah one step closer to a yes, and that's something that Les Brown always says. And you know, so so I, again, the whole point of this is just to remind you guys. And I, I, I don't tell you this to impress you. I tell you this to impress upon you the importance of seeing your vision, right? And along the way, your journey, people are going to throw stones at you. They're going to dig pits and ditches for you to fall into. They're going to put obstacles for you to have to climb over. They're going to try. And some of them are, are trying to be nice. Some of them are trying to help. Some of them are trying to dissuade you to get you so you, that you don't fail because they quit, right? They quit on their dreams. And it ha exactly, Cam, it happens to everybody. That's going to happen. My neighbor's got kids crying. It's whatever. We're going to keep going. Keep going. And so... Those are the things. Those are the things that are going to happen to you. So that's the reason why I came up with this weighing advice versus opinion. You got to understand the difference, right? Too many people are listening to opinions, and it, and it causes them stress. It causes de them derailment in their in their journey. It takes their, makes their train fall off the tracks of their dreams, right? While while the person giving them ridiculous opinions hasn't done anything for themselves, and they're doing it out of fear, out of out of, out of scarcity. And so you got to remember the difference between advice and opinions. You got to find advice. Find people who are doing what you want to do. Go read their books, read their blogs, read their, watch their YouTube videos, uh, contact them, reach out to them, try to help them. Uh, I've gotten in touch with so many famous people, not because I'm famous, but because I reached out to them after reading their stuff. Plain and simple, that's how it works. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Thanks for guys for the support. Always, you can go to startmeupbook.com if you want a signed copy of Start Me Up, the No Business Plan Business Plan. I will autograph it for you, give you a personal message, and I'll send it to you in the mail within, you know, within a day. Thank you so much, Kim Goddess. Thank you, 3D Lashes. Thank you so much. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm always happy that somebody here actually listens to anything I'm saying. You don't understand. I'm humble. Every single day, I'm humble. So I want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for caring. Thanks for the support. I'm just trying to keep it 100. That's right, Jadon. I'm trying to keep it 100, man. Again, at the end of the day, we're all going to go. So my goal is to leave a legacy until, I, until, until my time is up. So that means the scopes, the writing, the books, everything else. I'm trying to get known and I'm trying to leave a legacy. And I want you guys to do the same thing too. All right. 
you know, God bless you guys. Take care. Thanks for being on here. I'll be on here tomorrow. You help me keep on. Yeah, I, 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 I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Neely. Thank you so much, Kim Goddess. Bye, Lisa. Bye, everybody. Bye, Dillion. Bye, Tammy. Um, see who else is on here. Say, say what's up to um, George Mahama, uh, Camila Ali. That, that's that's Kim Goddess, of course. Uh, Tammy, of course. Adrena Monet, Lisa Barassa, Jaden Bowright. Thanks so much, y'all, for being here. You guys are awesome. All right, have a good night.